Uh, we're talking about the black colossals, the giant screens that we're working on. So these are going to be a pre-coded screen. Um, I decided, I was talking with the customer who has ordered the 200 inch screen. So thank you so much. He's the one who gave us the idea of basically doing these pre-coded screens to begin with. So we're gonna have these screens coded with the um, 39 Extreme Black Widow. Sizes are gonna range from uh, 250 inches, that's the biggest we're gonna do, 200 inches and 180 is gonna be the smallest. These screens already have built-in grommets in them, so you don't have to worry about that. And we're also to, um, talking back and forth with the customer today, um, I'm also going to uh, put up some blueprints on how to build frames for these monster screens because they were asking us uh, how to go about building a standalone frame. We have so many blueprints on standalone frames, it's not even funny. So we got some pretty interesting ideas. These are easy frames to put together. It's not gonna be hard to do, very simple. Anyone can do it. So I gotta draw some blueprints up, send them over to them to show them how to put this whole thing together. Now, the one you just saw in the thumbnail, that is the customer's 200 inch screen. That's the first one we're gonna be painting here. Apparently, where he's at, people have very big backyards. They just want to have those giant screens. And the problem is with giant screens like that, they cost a lot of money. I just did the research. They're very expensive. And these are white screens, not black screens at the end of the day. So he's going to have a black screen on display. He's going to get a lot of chat, a lot of talk. And there may be a contract involved in there that will allow him to be able to go out and advertise these products with that giant product into his you know his his community which would be quite nice for us so uh we're going to have the screen finished i'm still waiting for the ingredients to get here we'll have it done the same way you see it hanging up there we'll have it hung up and we'll display the screen and do some demonstrations off it from there god but i gotta be in the backyard i wanted to get a serious serious bug whacker bug whackers i got were like for indoor outdoor like i didn't really think there's mosquitoes were that bad but apparently on his end, Mr. Gears have gotten really bad. So I'm going to have to get myself an industrial bug whacker. I mean, this thing's going to look like the Men in Black flash go off when this thing goes off. But if it kills them, it kills them. I heard one of them had a vacuum system that sucks them in. But, yeah, we got to do something with that. And I figured out what I was allergic to in the backyard. I found it. So i am got to hire a gardener to go back there and dig all that up and get it out of there. Because i got to do demonstrations back there now. It's interesting how I said I was never going back there. Now I am. Back in the dreaded backyard. Can I get a mosquito net outfit to put on? I gotta do some research. I gotta do some research. We gotta do some research on that. So, this is gonna be fun. I have a giant screen set up. But, like I said, we're gonna make all different kinds of stands and stuff. Blueprints are gonna be gonna have at the bottom where you can actually go in and you can actually download the blueprints, go in and build these screens, and we'll show you where to get the products from. Very easy to put together. Um, one of the stands, which I was explaining to a standalone screen stand, it's it's pretty easy. Anytime you build a stand for a screen that has grommets, you always build the stand, the frame, slightly bigger than the screen itself. The screen should be the fit with inside of the frame. And the reason why is because when you tie the grommets in, you want it to be able to expand. So what we do for that is we put loop screws everywhere you would have a grommet. So that way, when you would tie it through, it would string through your loop screws. Now, this is a simple frame, how to put together, very easy. You're building two frames. That's all you're doing, you're putting together two frames, the exact same frame. One's gonna be here, one's gonna lay in the bottom at the base. The base, you hit this, the frame, the original frame of the screen, it's gonna sit right in the center of the frame laying down. You wanna put heavy brackets, I'm not talking about them light brackets, heavy duty cast iron brackets on this side and on this side. That's gonna keep your frame from swaying left to right, okay? Now, you can if you want to make sure you want to put extra support, um, you can basically put in large loop screws here at the top. At the bottom, if you want to tether it down here and here, here and here, if you want to do it that way. But to make sure that it doesn't go anywhere, the reason why you put that huge base at the end is because you're going to take a five-gallon bucket, you're going to punch a hole through the five-gallon bucket, punch a hole through the edge of the frame, you're going to drop in some nuts and bolts with a washer, and then you're going to have five-gallon buckets bolted on each side of the frame that will allow you to be able to drop cement bricks whatever you want in there to weigh it down it's not going to go anywhere trust me i've built these before and if you want extra security 
Then all you have to do is just basically, you can tether it with that huge bolt at the top, that loop score at the top. You can tether from here to here to here to here. Not gonna go anywhere. So we're gonna build one in the backyard for setup to show you how to do it. You can also, if you wanna go a little bit more high tech with it, we can show you how you can put lock hinges in. So lock hinges, basically the hinge, you're gonna cut the screen in half. You're gonna put a hinge system in. It's gonna have a system that locks in the back that keeps it from bending downward. This tool is when you get done with the frame, if you want this big, huge frame in the way, you can actually fold the frame in half. Ah, see? I've been building these things for a long time. We got so many ideas on how to put together this stuff. It's not even funny. All right. Well, I have the customer's uh, screen hanging up because he wanted to see how big the frame was. The screen was to compare to my 250 in the back. And that's the size of his screen. So I have to give them the measurements on the height and the length. Mind you, when you build this thing, you're going to build it bigger than the actual frame, about that far from the actual screen itself. And the wood you're going to choose is going to be one inch high by four inches wide. So imagine it's of two frames you're going to build, one for the top, like here, and one for the base. And when you put the base, drop the screen goes right across and you put in heavy uh, L brackets or heavy duty L brackets on this side and that side this side and that side and then what you do is you take your five gallon buckets on each corner here 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 and here punch a hole in with a screw put your washers in heavy duty nuts and bolts and you can drop bricks in whatever you want it's not going anywhere all right so I got work to do like I guess said you know I'm glad that these people call from time to time because, again, I don't want to get caught up in a whole bunch of shenanigans, you know, talking about the shenanigans. So uh, we, we're done. Let's move on. We got things to do. I got customers to tend to, things to build, so we can get our customers taken care of. On the Monday, we will uh, resume tests on the 2.0 for the customers. And uh, all tests will be completed. We're not going to put challenges. We don't care. We just want to bring good products out to the customer. That's all that matters. Sometimes I get a little too caught up in stuff. But we already did what we had to do. We proved our point. Let's move on. It's all about the customers. So let's get the test done for this on Monday. This is the 2.0, the new gray product uh, for you guys at $38 for 40 ounces. Let's get this done. Once we get this done, all tests done, we'll post everything to the website. And this will launch on uh, Tuesday so that'll be finished and done and I got to get the Colossals done so I'm setting up the website right now a shopping cart for the Colossals they don't have to be tested because the Colossals have are using the 39 extreme black widow that's the screen I had on the ceiling that was displaying all the lights off of it that's the one that's sitting outside on my 250 right now so that's already been tested ain't that right taco all right I got blueprints to draw up and I got to build, uh, I'm going to build prototypes. So the prototypes, and we'll give you the proper measurements. So the prototypes I'm going to put together in these smaller screens that we can put together to show you how it's done. And then we'll give you the measurements for the big screens, how to put it all together. And then where to get the nuts and bolts, which you're going to use, stuff like that. All right, people. Well, that being said, um, I got to put some information where it's blank at. I know I've been leaving a couple of them like that because I'm busy, but I'm going to fill them in today with information and information. You'll get the sizes of how much we're charging for the screens. <sighs> All right. With that being said, I got to get cracking, Jackson. Got much work to do. Got to go. Thank you all and God bless.